All right, all right. Come on, let's get it together here. Let's plan out what we're gonna do. Let's do a uh, stoppy. Okay, we got a little bit of a stoppy there. Come on. Oh, oh man. I am, uh, yeah, I went from a clean sweep in Portland to uh, to doing horrible. Hey, they, I did a total backflip and they didn't count it. There we go, big air sky wheelie into a stoppy. Let's feather it back into a moonwalk. There it is. Oh yes, now, now we're talking, okay. Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Blaze, Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And today we are gonna be playing as a dragon overcast. Oh no. <laughs> hey, not too bad, not too bad. Here we go right here. Here is Dragon Overcast. Let's take a quick look at him. So he is pretty similar to regular dragon. Just a little bit of damage from my little roll over there. Uh, of course, it does share the same uh, theme as all the other overcasts. It is kind of uh, not quite the same as the um, the high contrast where it's all black and white because there is some color in there. There's the orange color, but uh, it is instead of the usual green tones for the body and the orange for the horns slash hair, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's it's mostly just gray and silver. Uh, just like the spikes are gray and silver, right? Instead of, uh, I think they're usually a, a bit of a brownish color. But anyway, yeah, and then the uh, the rims are also gray. So it is, it just, just feels overcasty. He still does burn a fire though, just like, just like regular dragon. You do that by pushing the R, B button, the right bumper. There it is right there. Very, very cool. All right, but we are gonna continue on with the Big Show Plus Arena Championship. We're a little less than halfway through the Arena Championship. We've got a little ways to go still. So let's get right into it. All right, here we go. Portland, Oregon, head to head. And the way that, uh, the way that we're doing these, um, the Arena Championship, of course, we've got all four events for every city that we go to. So we've got the head to head, the two wheel skills, time destruction, and freestyle. And it's always the same competitors that I've noticed. So we're gonna be going against Ice Cream Man yet again. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Okay, so Portland is a big circle just like Denver. Most of the ones on this arena tour seem to be just big circles. I noticed that the maps for these arenas are awfully large. These arenas in real life are kind of small, actually. <laughs> but they didn't want to have the arenas be that small in the game because you'd feel a little stifled. I'm sure that real drivers do feel stifled. <laughs> you know, like, like they're suffocating. Oh, these arenas are too small. There's not enough room to do anything. But anyway, all we're doing is going around and around. And uh, yeah, we beat that one. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm the best dragon overcast driver. All right, let me guess. Over on the other side is going to be Son of a Digger and Max D, right? Hey, what do you know? <laughs> okay, so we're going to have dragon versus dragon. Dragon overcast versus regular dragon. That's going to be interesting. My guess is it's going to be Son of a Digger going all the way to the end. That's going to be who I'm going to fight in the finals. Let's find out. And here we go, Portland head-to-head -head round two semifinals. Dragon versus Dragon. Hey, do me a huge favor. If you have been enjoying this series, smash that like button. It does help get these videos out to more people. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job, that you want to see more Dragon on Dragon action. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one, and go! A perfect start! These uh, crush cars are kind of on the inside of the track, whereas last time in Denver, they were on the outside of the track. I don't know if that really matters a whole lot. Maybe it makes the uh, forces the AI to make a wider turn, because I do seem to be having a little bit of an easier time going against the AI this time around. Not to jinx anything, find some wood and knock on it for me. 
But yeah, it doesn't seem to be quite so bad. The mud is not quite as slippery in this arena, too. That was an easy victory as I flip and roll. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. All right, dragons out of the way. Who's it going to be? Max D is going on into the finals. Let's do this. There is the Pyrotechnics Laser Light Show. And there is a Dragon Overcast. Such a cool truck. <laughs> Get that fire going. <laughs> and there's a Max D. Hey, our colors kind of match, don't they? Max D so cool. I hope in the uh, the next Steel Titans game or whatever the next Monster Jam game is going to be that they have the uh, Max D 20th Anniversary Edition. That would be so cool. At the very least, they need to have fire and ice for all the trucks that had fire and ice versions, right? I mean, they already had the models. Like, how hard would it have been to release the, the models? Even if you had it, it's a DLC. I would have paid five bucks for the fire and ice models. No problem. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to complain about the game. The game knows when I complain about it. And it messes me up. Oh, I can see Dragon. It looked like he was ready to flip on me there for a second. But, hey, we finished in first place. Yeah, it seems like on this track, I was able to cut a tighter line than the AI was able to, which is good. Very, very good. <laughs> Made up some points there. Nice. Finished in first. I am the racing champion. Next up, two wheel skills. Let's go. Portland, two wheel skills. Now these arenas, what separates an arena from a stadium is of course that it's smaller. But the arenas tend to, ooh, that's a nice shot. <laughs> the arenas tend to only have like one pod in the middle where you do all your tricks on and there's no real other ramps or anything else that's on the outside. So we got over here, we got the log stack. We're gonna do a nice big sky wheelie. We're gonna land on our back, but that's okay. We can power out, get upright again. Let's come over here and we'll get a nice stoppy and we'll bring it back into a moonwalk. Nice, right up onto the pod. Very cool. Let's see if we can get a popper. Nope, nope, not quite. Not quite. We did get a bicycle there, though, into a stoppy. Nice. That was awesome right there. We'll try and get another sky wheelie. Awesome. Let's come around over here. We'll get a backflip off the backflip container. Woohoo! Nice way to start my third combo attempt there. We'll come around this way. We'll get a big air sky wheelie. Whoa. I was trying to go for a pogo, but I kind of went down the ramp a little bit. Didn't quite make it. Got a good power out. Another big air. Oh, I was going to try and go for a donut, but I did not have time. Ran out in that run. That was a good run overall. I like it. All right. First place. Let's check the series standings real quick just to see how far ahead I am. 119 and second place max D at 104. I am, I am what, 15 points ahead. So I, that's got a pretty good lead. Next up, time destruction, let's do it. All right, here we go, Portland time destruction. Now, some of these arena time destructions, they just don't have enough object. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Get some fire breathing going on. Anyway, yeah, these arenas just don't have enough objects to smash. And it's hard to keep that combo mode going. We are playing on hard, so the criteria is a little high uh, as far as how many objects you need to keep. Or rather, how big of a combo you need to keep. Uh, <laughs> almost fell over there. Ah, yeah, see, that's just, it's hard to maintain that combo. All right, we got a 16 times combo. That's that'll that'll do for right now. I'm in eighth place. 11, 12. Let's get everything that's up here on top of the pod. There really is not much to smash up here, though. We're going to smash it all. Ha <laughs> 65 times combo. Oh, and the timer is running out already. 84. 
Let's see if we can get a 91. Oh, and that's going to be it. 91 times combo. That was enough to put us into first place. So far, this is turning out to be a great run. Nice. First place in that event. Moving on to freestyle now. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Portland freestyle. Lots of beacons to hit. Breathe some fire for the crowd. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Let's get a nice big air sky wheelie off the log stack. Very, very good. We'll get some more beacons over here. Come on down and we'll get a stoppy. Oh, I missed the stoppy. Oh, no. We'll just drive around. We'll collect some beacons. Now, the beacons by themselves don't really do a whole lot. It does add to your combo meter. And if you if you just need a quick little something something to get you going, they're a great way to, to do it, but they don't add any points really. If you need if you need something to keep your combo going, like if your combo is in danger of running out and you need something to keep it going, those beacons are a great way to keep your combo going, but as far as just overall points, it's better to do tricks. 10 times combo, 11 times combo, nice. That was a fantastic combo. All kinds of points could have Ian had there. There we go, get right back up. We are in first place. It looks like there's only one beacon left to get. Whoa, slap wheelie that went on for ages into a nice stoppy and a moonwalk. We got about 30 seconds left. We're just doing all kinds of little flips. We're in first place, so whatever we do, it's just kind of for the, the crowd, right? There's our last beacon. Got it. Down the hill into a stoppy. Oh, no. Over rotated and fell over on my back. Here we go. Got it. Let's do a backflip off the backflip container. Nice. Got it. Okay, we'll come over. We'll hit this log stack one more time. Big air sky wheelie. I've lost pretty much all of my panels. That's okay. Seven times combo. Come on, can we keep it going? They didn't give me a power out. Oh, they did give me it. There it is right there. Big air sky wheelie. We're bouncing around all over. There's a slap wheelie for you. No bicycle though. I'm kind of surprised at that. I was hoping for a bicycle. Oh no, my combo ran out. Come on. Oh well. <laughs> that was a fun run overall. Boy, okay, I tell you what, that was a clean sweep of Portland. First place in races. First place in head-to-head uh, -head races. First place in two-wheel skills. First place in time destruction. And first place in freestyle. Let's check the series standings. 135 points. We are 21 points ahead of second place Max D. Oh, we've got a commanding lead right now. Let's move on to Wichita 2 head-to-head. All right, here we are, Wichita 2, head to head. Now, I was confused last time I thought Wichita was uh, Wilkesbury. <laughs> Wichita 2, I don't think has a very interesting track. I think it's just a circle, but we're gonna find out here in a second. We're gonna be going against Monster Mutt, not um, Ice Cream Man for a change. We got somebody different. I'll take it, I like it. Somebody new. Here we go. Yep, it is just a big circle. Three, two, one, and go. Oh no, early start. Uh, that's okay. I think I can come from behind and take it. Although, this is a tighter course. I have to draw a tighter line than what I had to before. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, see, now I was, I, I kind of did a little bit too much drift there. I had a little too much of drift. But so far, so good. We are back in first place. We kind of caught up a little bit. Gotta watch that drift. No! Oh no. Off track. <laughs> and there goes Monster Mutt lapping me. So sad. And here, I was right there at the very end, too. Oh, Monster Mutt totally beat me. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm totally okay with Monster Mutt beating me because that's that was gonna turn out to be kind of a difficult head to head anyway. And, uh, I, you know, I just didn't want to stress over it. So I'm okay taking the L on that one. Letting the AI son of a digger take the win. Let's check and see how many points did I lose? Uh, hardly any. <laughs> I 
I hardly lost any. I'm still I still have a very commanding lead. About a uh, what 19 point lead. I am not worried. All right, here we go into two wheel skills. Breathe some fire for the crowd. Ooh, you can see the veins and everything on the back. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Had the flames right into the camera there. That was awesome. All right, so in two wheel skills, of course, we've got all the time in the world. This pod is weird. Whoa! Are they going to count that as a power out? They probably will, won't they? Uh, yep, there it is. There's the power out. Okay, let's get a nice big air. No, no big air there. Oh, I just landed on my head. That's going to count as a fail, isn't it? No, that's totally a fail. All right, all right. Come on, let's get it together here. Let's plan out what we're going to do. Let's do a uh, stoppy. Okay, we got a little bit of a stoppy there. Come on. Oh, oh man. I am, uh, you know, I went from a clean sweep in Portland to uh, to doing horrible. Hey, th I did a total backflip and they didn't count it. There we go. Big air sky wheelie into a stoppy. Let's feather it back into a moonwalk. There it is. Oh, yes. Now, now we're talking. Okay. Golly. And a slap wheelie. That was a great combo that time. Put us into first place. Man, all right, I made up for it. I was getting a little worried there for a second. Sometimes, you know, when you start messing up, it gets in your head and you just keep on messing up. Nice, but if you persevere, you can do it. Hey, these backflips off the backflip container are not counting. What's up with that? Gosh. Well, all right, I guess that's my uh, two wheel skills run. Not the best two wheel skills run I've ever done, but I'll take it. Next up, time destruction. I am concerned because that is a small pod and there's probably not gonna be much to smash. Ah, it's more than I thought. Not too bad. The trick of course is gonna be keeping that combo meter running as we go. Looks like we can do a big circle around the outside and then we can come in and do the inside on the inside of the pod, on the center of the pod. Here we go, three, two, one, and let's go. We're gonna come over here to the right first. We'll just do a big circle. And then we'll come over here and we'll collect the porta potties, the fences, and a little bit of the car smash there. Okay, now, now how do we keep the combo meter going? No, of course not. Yeah, that's the hard part of getting from one end of the arena to the other, but that's okay. Well, come around over this way. Yes. Oh, good. I got it. Come on up. Let's go up in the middle. There we go. There's all kinds of stuff to smash here in the middle. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the outside. There we go. I got the cars. Okay, now I can hear the timer. The timer's running out. We have a 65 times combo. Let's come back up to the center. Oh, ho, 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 that was so close. If I can bring this up to 100, I think we've got this. Yes, 100 times combo. Nice. All right, I am not so worried. That's it, 115, and that did put us into first place. 115 times combo was where we ended up. Whew, that was a good run. I think I got, I got a little kind of ripped off there. <laughs> I should have had that combo meter continued, but I will take it. Let's move on to freestyle. All right, Wichita 2 freestyle, here we come. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Nice big air sky wheelie landed on my my backside. Got a good stoppy and a moonwalk there. Fantastic way to start the combo. Oh no, this is an awkward pod. I don't like the pod in the middle. <laughs> Come on over this way, yeah, two times. And I know that the uh, the backflip containers aren't working quite right, but hey, let's give this one a shot. 
Yay, that one worked. Okay, good. Backflip into a wheelie. Nice. Nine times combo. I will take that. We'll take another backflip. Nope, did not count. That's okay. That's okay. Let's come around here. We'll collect this beacon. Any more beacons over here? Nope, no more beacons. Let's come up. Oh, there's one, but we'll come over here. We'll do a backflip. Not a backflip. We'll just get a big air sky wheelie. Oh, on a one, one foot. I was going to say one foot. One tire. Oh, come on, let's get this. Oh, no. My combo meter ran out. That's okay. No. Come on, get up, get up. Oh. All right, let's reset that. Here we go. Nice, stoppy moonwalk. Oh, into a front pogo a little bit. Landed on my side and was able to get back up. I will take that. Come on, let's come around this way onto the log. No, I missed the log. <laughs> How do I get that one? That one beacon. I think I remember chasing that beacon in another video. That one's kind of a hard one to get. Okay, so we haven't even made third place yet. We're we're kind of behind. Got a bicycle and a beacon, but not a backflip, which I don't know. That's kind of weird. Come on, come on. Uh, all right, we'll get a backflip off the backflip container. No, I won't. <laughs> My timer ran out. You know, I didn't even score third place, and I got 9.0 on my uh, my judges score. Fifth place. Wow. Okay. Well, let's check the series standings. 157 over 137. I have a 20 point lead over Son of a Digger, who has climbed his way back up to second place. He's uh, pretty solidly in second place too. But with a 20 point lead, I am not that worried. All right, you know, I always like to end my episodes with a, a waypoint or an outdoor race. This time we are gonna do Mad to the Max, which is the challenge map for uh, the wasteland. Go, perfect start. Here we go. So basically what these challenge maps have you do is go from one end of the map to the other as fast as you possibly can. And they don't really even care which way you go to get there. You only have two waypoints. You have one at the very end. I'm sorry, you have one on one end of the map and you have one at the very end on the opposite end of the map. So if you guys look in the bottom left corner as I drive, you can see my opponents, they're going every which direction to get there as fast as possible. It's kind of a free for all. And again, like I said, this is the challenge map and you access the challenge maps by driving into the, uh, the garage. Whoa. All right, we all kind of meet up here in the middle and then we need to jump. Oh, don't crash. Oh, everybody kind of crashed, but that's okay. Here we go. No, we're, we're right here where Dragon's Hidden World Collectible is, but that's all right, we're here. Come on, here we go. Oh man, everybody just kind of met up and it turned into a, a mess, a mosh pit there for a little bit. Here we go, we're back on track. Now I just gotta catch up to everybody to see if I can get first place. I did to get it one time, I got first place, but this is not an easy map, I tell you what. And I've really only done it one time. Ooh, I hit a rock. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do these challenge races more often because uh, this is fun. There we go, come on, let's go. Yeah, everybody's beating me. Everybody's beating me to it. And like I said, there are multiple ways to get to this, uh, to get this finished. <laughs> Oh man, that was a, that was a wreck fest. <laughs> Sixth place, not the best, but it was still a lot of fun. I, I'm gonna work on this because uh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna do that more often. Okay, just to show you what I'm talking about, you drive here into the garage and you see these challenge events. You've got Mad to the Max and you have Dusty De Demolition. Like I said, I've already completed these when you do complete the challenge maps, you can see there's two uh, triangles right above, uh, underneath where it says demolition crew, demolish, special ability demolish, more easily blow through destructible objects, right? So the first one says uh, mad to the max, 35% reduced destructible slowdown. Uh, and so because I completed the mad to the max, 
challenge map, I now have that ability. I, I have a 30%, 35% reduced destructible slowdown. So then there's Dusty Demolition, which is the demolition map, the other challenge map for this area. And that one says 50% reduced destructible slowdown. So that increases that ability's effectiveness even more. So you can uh, you can get even better uh, of this, this demolition crew ability. The demolition crew ability, it's, it's not very good. <laughs> It really only helps you during the, uh, the, the the time destruction events. That's about the only time it ever really helps you. So it's not the greatest ability in the world, but hey, I made it more uh, more useful by completing these challenge maps. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to check out the video that you see on the screen right now. Look at those train cars. And hey, we will see you guys on the flip side. Later. I'm going to climb right up the ramp here. Ooh, hit the tree. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no, as I tumble down.